It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday, so it's time for our Agile, not-so-Agile episode of the Daily Stand-Up Podcast. And I thought I'd cover this topic because this has been coming up quite a bit. A lot of people that I've met recently have struggled with this issue. Now, before I go into detail, let me explain. Many people suffer from this, but some people just don't know how to tackle or overcome or get past it. This is about being a good active listener. Now, I know it sounds kind of cheesy. I'm going to give you the top five ways to be a better listener, but I took it from a place of spirituality. So I wanted to get into how we can better engage with other people and how we can really make those intimate connections. Now, one of the things that people say when they come to my class that really makes me happy is that they say, I feel like each and every person had an opportunity to have a moment with you. They each, they each say we had a moment, right? And that's so important to be able to say you had a moment. So how can we have those moments with those that we love, with our teams, with our peers. I'm going to give you these top five tips. So here we go. Coming in at number one, right at the top, embrace silence so you can hear wisdom. I think sometimes when you're still and you give other people the chance to express themselves, it gives you a chance to really understand or hear differently. Silence isn't just the absence. Uh, silence isn't just the absence of sound. It's it's a presence. Uh, it should be a moment that's filled with potential understanding, and it's an opportunity for us to embrace that pause and allow others to fill it with their thoughts, with their feelings, with their experiences, with their ideas. And I think that sometimes we we're too quick to judge and too quick to speak, and not quick enough to be silent. All right, let's jump down to number two. Number two has to do with one of my favorite podcast episodes. Uh, That episode is See the World Through Your Eyes, and this one is See Through Others' Eyes So You Can Feel Through Their Hearts. There's a big difference between listening to someone and understanding someone. And I think when you listen, striving to understand, not just the words that they're speaking, but the emotions and the motivations behind them, it teaches you how to listen with empathy. Uh, imagine yourself in a speaker's position and seek to grasp the full essence of their message. This is the whole concept of walk a mile in someone else's shoes, but remember to take your shoes off first so that you're not walking with bias. This type of compassion and understanding creates deeper interpersonal connections, deeper relationships, and allows you to really thrive in an environment where you can build true interpersonal connectivity. All right, let's go with number three. And I love number three. Number three is be present, but also be alive in the moment. I've been in places where people are physically present or emotionally present, sometimes not both, but but they don't live in the moment. They're not alive in that moment. They're distracted, whether it's by a phone or by social media or by something going on around them. Sometimes it's best to put away all the distractions and give your complete attention to the other person. Let them feel that in this moment, there's nothing in the world more important than understanding their thoughts and feelings. This type of presence communicates respect and validates the importance of their message. It validates that you're not just listening or hearing what they say, but that you're striving to understand and embrace what they say. That they are in an emotional state of living and that they are alive and that we are showing that level of respect. Okay. Come in at number four. This is probably the most difficult one. Listen to understand and not to reply. Many of us, the second someone starts speaking, the first thing we start to do is prepare our response, even while the other person's still talking. But true listening requires that suspension of judgment, suspension of bias, and a focus on more intimate comprehension. Let go of your urge to interject, to try to solve the problem, or advise, or explain. Instead, 
make it your goal to truly understand the speaker's perspective. Your rightful responses will flow naturally from this understanding, and it'll give you the power to come across as someone who is empathetic, compassionate, and driven to build others up, right? And then finally, number five, reflect and validate. I call this the mirror of respect. So reflecting what you've heard and validating the speaker's feelings doesn't mean that you have to agree with them, and it doesn't mean that you have to parrot exactly what they say. It's simply a way to demonstrate that you really did connect with them and that their feelings are valid. This mirroring reinforces trust, respect, and a deeper connection. This is the one where I always use, and these are my favorite three words, and this is why I saved it for last. This is the one where I always say, help me understand. That sounds amazing. Help me understand more deeply why you feel this way, or help me understand how we as an organization or team should move forward. Help me understand how this impacts you as an individual and what can I do to make a difference? And I think that if you use help me understand properly, that this is a great opportunity for you to reflect on what was said, to validate the the speaker's needs, and to show that mirror of respect. Even if it's not something that you 100% support, it doesn't hurt, even if you don't agree with it, it doesn't hurt to listen and to gain their perspective because that's what helps us grow. Having meaningful conversations that are educational is what causes us the greatest growth. So if you incorporate these five principles into all your daily interactions, what you're going to quickly discover is that your relationships will transform. You're going to have a greater sense of empathy and understanding, and you're going to have a much better connection with all those around you. The ability to listen is a gift, but it's not a gift that was given to you. It's a gift that you give to others. And what you get in return is the form of a more deep, meaningful relationship. So that's going to do it. I hope that this was meaningful to you. I hope that you take away something. I hope you have an amazing weekend. My challenge for all of you is to find ways to make these more meaningful connections. And if you do this throughout your week, throughout your month, throughout your year, throughout your life, you're going to discover that you are a more whole person. Until next week, I encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.